Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. You may have seen my video about the average distance between two points in a unit square. There's an excellent blog post from Cleve Moeller, the inventor of MATLAB, that starts as follows. How far apart can you expect two points chosen at random in the unit square to be? I found this problem on the YouTube channel maintained by Presh Tullwalker, Mind Your Decisions. He correctly calls it a very hard puzzle. At first, I guess the answer might be one half, but the correct answer is more interesting than that. Definitely check out this blog post, and you can also check out my video, both of which are linked in the video description. The problem in this video is in the spirit of that problem. On a circle with a radius of one, pick two random points on the circumference. What is the average distance between the two points? To be precise, imagine a unit circle centered at 0, 0. Choose two points with polar coordinates 1, theta 1 and 1, theta 2, where the angles theta sub i are distributed uniformly from 0 to 2 pi. Find the expected distance between the points. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? Well, an important component is setting it up to be as simple as possible. Well, first, Put the circle so its center is at 0, 0. Next, we'll rotate the entire circle and the points so that P1 is located at 1, 0. Notice this does not change the distance between P1 and P2. Now, what are the polar coordinates of these points? P1 is at 1, 0 and p2 is at 1, theta. Furthermore, by symmetry, we can consider just the upper semicircle, so we only consider theta between 0 and pi. Why can we do this? Notice the distance from p1 to p2 in the upper semicircle will be the same as p1 to the symmetric point p2 prime located at 1, negative theta in the lower semicircle. Hence, removing the lower semicircle will not affect the average distance because we're just removing half of the points which will have the same average as the upper semicircle. So we want to calculate the distance between P1 and P2. How can we do that? Well, notice we have a triangle between P1, P2, and 0, 0. This side of the triangle is 1, this side of the triangle is also 1, and the angle between them is theta. We can calculate the distance between P1 and P2 using the law of cosines. We get that the distance is equal to the square root of the following. 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times 1 times the cosine of theta. This simplifies to be the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine theta. How can we simplify this further? I did not think of this, but the technique is to use the sine half angle formula. The sine of x over 2 is equal to the square root of the following, 1 minus cosine of x all over 2. Therefore, we can write the distance between p1 and p2 as 2 times the sine of theta over 2. So now we have a formula for the distance between p1 and p2. We now need to calculate the average value of this function. Recall that the average value of a function from a to b is 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of the function. So we can calculate the average value of the distance function as follows. Our interval will be between 0 and pi, so we have 1 over pi minus 0, and then we want the integral from 0 to pi of 2 times the sine of theta over 2 d theta. It's a straightforward exercise to calculate this integral. 
We take 1 over pi times negative 4 cosine of theta over 2, evaluated from 0 to pi, and that gets us to our answer of 4 over pi, and that's approximately 1.27. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can also support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.